750 meter swim, 20 kilometer bike, and five kilometer run. Sounds intimidating for any athlete. Now, take away 99% of your eyesight. That's how Amy Dixon completes a triathlon. My eye disease started 16 years ago, and um, it's called uveitis, which is an inflammatory disease of the retina caused by an underlying autoimmune disease. And um, so it caused uh, scar tissue to form all around the, the periphery of my retina, which blocked out all of my peripheral vision, leaving me with tunnel vision. Dixon does not let that stop her. She has completed nine triathlons in the past year, working with a partner that guides her through each course. She'll call out verbal commands to me, stay left, stay right, or, you know, or encouragement, hey, you're doing great, keep it up. Basically for the swim, I run tethered to another, to another swimmer, so I have like an elastic cord that goes around my waist that uh, legally has to be uh, no more than one meter in length. The bike is a tandem bike, so it's a bicycle built for two. <laughs> and then on the run, I'm tethered by my wrist by a shoelace, and that's no more than, I think, two feet in length. Dixon trains for her races at the Greenwich YMCA and Elite Health Services in Old Greenwich. She uses a computer that maps out courses to bike, a treadmill to run, and a lap pool to swim. It's hard work for the Greenwich resident, but it isn't going unnoticed. I uh, have sort of been tagged by USA Paracycling. Um, I was sent out to a camp in Colorado Springs at the Olympic Training Center a few weeks ago to go train with their coaches. And um, I guess in preparation for the Olympic Games in 2016, they're looking for more blind female cyclists. Rio 2016 will be the first time the triathlon is raced at the Paralympics. Amy is racing for points at international competitions to try and make Team USA. Next one is in Chicago, which is the Chicago ITU race. It's the International Triathlon Union. Okay. Um, and all, all the ITU races for paratriathlon count towards points, towards world championships, and then later Rio uh, in 2016. Whether Dixon chooses her first love of triathlons or her newfound skill of cycling, She's keeping a positive attitude. I know I'm losing the rest of my vision and it's only a matter of time, which is fine because I've been exposed to so many completely blind athletes who are extremely successful in their careers and in their athletics. I'm having a heck of a lot of fun doing triathlons and traveling around the country and, and doing all kinds of things with my, with my awesome guide dog. <laughs> in Greenwich, I'm Taylor Knight for It's Relevant News.